Hello there. Welcome to today's class. Our topic for this lesson is similar shapes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify similar shapes and their presence in the environment. Enlarge figures using scale factors and calculate the length, areas and volume of similar figures. Let's begin. What are similar shapes? I'm sure you can guess what it means from the name. In simple terms, similar shapes are two figures or objects that are similar to each other if they are not of the same shape but different in size. An example of similar figures is displayed on your screen. Now that you know what similar shapes mean, let's find out how to enlarge figures using scale factors. To enlarge a figure simply means to increase the size of that figure. This means that using a scale factor to enlarge a figure tells us how large the figure will be. For example, the rectangle on your screen is 2 cm wide and 4 cm long. Assuming we are to enlarge the figure by a scale factor of 2, we will have to multiply each side of the figure by 2. This is because the figure is to be enlarged two times of its original size. Therefore, the enlarged figure will be 4 cm wide and 8 cm long. Moving on, another interesting thing to know about similar shapes is how to calculate the length, area and volume of these shapes. To calculate the length scale factor of a similar shape, we divide the length of the enlarged shape by the length of the original shape. For example, line A is 5 cm and line B is 15 cm. The length scale factor will be 15 divided by 5. Therefore, the length scale factor is 3. As we have studied in previous lessons, the area of a flat shape or an object surface is defined as the space occupied by the shape or object. The square of the ratio of the corresponding side lengths is the ratio of the area of two similar shapes. What that means is that if the ratio of the area of similar figures is expressed as n square, where n is the linear skill factor. Let's solve an example to get more clarity. Calculate the ratio of the area of the similar figures on your screen. To do this, we divide the area of the green triangle by the area of the blue triangle, which is 5 over 10 squared, which is simplified to 1 over 2 squared. Therefore, the ratio of the area is 1 over 4. Just like a flat surface, the volume of a three-dimensional shape is the amount of space the shape takes up. For example, the volume of a cylinder would be the amount of liquid it can hold inside. The ratio of the volume of two similar figures will either be will be equal to the cube of ratio of the length of sides. Simply put, this can be expressed as n cube, where n is the linear scale factor. Let's see what this means with this example. Find the volume of the red cylinder. First, we find the linear scale factor by dividing the length, which is 6 cm and 8 cm, and this gives us 3 over 4. Next, we write the equation to be 3 over 4 cubed equal to 54 over V, where V is the unknown volume. We cross multiply the equation, which gives us 27V over 27 equals to 64 times 57 over 57. Therefore, V is equal to 128 cubic centimeters. This brings us to the end of the lesson. So far, we have learned that similar shapes are two figures or objects that are similar to each other, if they are of the same shape but different in size. To enlarge shapes by scale factor is to increase the size of the figure by the scale factor. And lastly, we learned how to calculate the length, area, and volume of these figures. See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.